Hey, it's Marcella here. This tapping video is by request from one of my YouTube fans about being addicted to deprivation. Let's talk about this for a minute because sometimes excess or indulgence can mask a deeper addiction to deprivation. So for example, if you regularly deprive yourself of good, well-balanced, consistent meals, or you don't eat a good breakfast in the morning, then you go through the day and you are binging on bags and bags and chips and sugar and all the rest of it, you might think you have a problem with the binging, but in reality, the deeper problem might be the deprivation of the nourishment. So if this sounds like you, not just with food, but in other areas of your life, like money or relationships or, you know, intimacy or exercise or anything like that. If you're really feeling that underlying addiction to deprivation, then let's do some tapping together to clear that so that you can find balance within the abundance. Okay, so let's begin. I am addicted to deprivation. Just say that to yourself. See how true it is on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the strongest, the most true. Okay. And then see if there are any feelings that come up with this. Like maybe that makes you feel sad or it makes you feel angry or it makes you feel hopeless or whatever it might be. So go ahead and just bookmark that, that feeling. Okay. And then let's do some tapping. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I feel like I am addicted to deprivation, I deeply love and completely accept myself. Even though I feel addicted to deprivation, I deeply love and completely honor myself. Even though I feel addicted to deprivation, some part of me insists on depriving myself, right? <clears throat> some part of me can't handle it if I feel too much abundance, right? Okay, so even though I feel like I am addicted to deprivation, it's okay. It's okay for me to be exactly where I am. And I deeply love and accept myself right here, right now. Good. Okay, let's tap around the points. Oh, ooh, I don't really want to admit this, right? Oh, this might be painful to admit. But some part of me insists on depriving myself. Some part of me insists on keeping myself small. Mm -hmm. Even though I might occupy a larger body, I still shrink down when it comes to abundance and deserving. This addiction to deprivation, this addiction to consistently not meeting my needs. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe it's not safe. Okay, maybe it hasn't been safe to do that, right? Like maybe it wasn't safe in my history. Maybe I got a lot of messages in my early life. Messages like, who do you think you are? Messages like, don't be too big for your britches. Messages like, get back in your place, young lady. And part of me agreed to that and internalized it. Okay. 
So maybe I got the message early on that it wasn't okay to shine and receive. And I have been hiding ever since. Keeping myself small. Keeping my needs very minimal. And then trying to meet them with like uh, binging, overcompensating, indulging, right? Okay, so this wild yo-yo swing, right? Between deprivation and indulgence. Okay. I totally own it, yeah. I'm not happy about it at all. And I totally own it. And it's okay for me to be exactly where I'm at in this moment. Yeah, it's really good that I am, mm, what, becoming more aware of this, right? Right? It's good that I'm facing it and confronting it. even though that might be painful. But as I do that, as I face and confront this pattern of mine, I get to become more open to how this could shift and open up for me. Just because I have kept myself in deprivation doesn't mean I have to keep staying there, right? Okay. So what would it be like to just unlock that prison door and just walk through? What if the coast is clear? for me to step away from the deprivation and into abundance, having my needs met in abundance, being contented and satisfied, okay? Being able to shine and receive and say yes and thank you. Good, good, good. Okay. So even though that might be completely foreign to me, I'm open to shifting in that direction. Okay. And I deeply appreciate myself for that openness. Okay. (laughs) All right. That feels good. I hope it feels good to you. Um, So see where that feeling is that you identified at the beginning, you know, and you had it on a scale of one to 10. See where it is now and uh, drop me a line. Feel free to comment on this video and let me know how this was for you. And uh, yes, Um, somebody once said to me one time, I heard her say years ago, I deserve because I exist. So we don't earn our deserving, we just simply deserve simply because we are here. So there's a little affirmation to leave you with. Um, Keep tapping and let me know how it goes. This is Marcella sending you love and abondanza. Okay, ciao, bye-bye.